Welcome to the Systems Thinker, a video series to help you know the whole, focus on the constraint and reach your goal. You and your team are charged with an initiative, something important for the success of your organisation. The change management has been excellent and the top leadership team have backed you up. After all, their bonus depends on your initiative working as planned. You go after the low-hanging fruit and your initiative grows rapidly. Pretty soon, some outstanding results are flowing into the production and finance reports. You double down with your team and increase the intensity and extensity of your work. But then you notice something quite strange. The performance improvement starts to plateau. You get together with the team and determine that you will work even harder. You long for the accolades you were getting in the earlier phase of the initiative. The truth is, while you were invigorated by the growth process, you were blind to the limiting process unfolding at the same time. Perhaps, as your initiative grew, it took up so much time and resource of your colleagues that they increasingly found themselves without the resources required to keep up with their day job. Maybe, as your initiative grew, the systems and processes required to sustain the momentum were a cumbersome match for the challenge of the increasing complexity involved in scaling it. It's essential to pay attention to what the limiting processes are to any growth process. Nothing in nature is capable of unlimited growth. There's always limiting factors or constraints. To prevent your performance from plateauing or collapsing over time, make sure you build activities into your plans alongside your growth processes that address the limits to growth. That's your tip for better ways to do better.